45 bucks from where it was one year ago. Lockheed Martin will be watching a ticker symbol LMT. So is today's sell off just a brief pullback or what some people would say is a much needed correction? Can't go up forever, right? Let's bring in our market panel. Joining us, Tom Lydon, he is editor of ETF Trends, and Steve Stoller, president of the Stoller Group. Gentlemen, welcome. Good to see you both. Uh, Tom, let's begin with you. Uh, you know, you have a great pulse or your finger on the pulse of what individual investors are doing. Are individual investors still coming out there and buying ETFs that reflect the broader market? Or, like we have today, are they beginning to dump their macro market holdings? Well, there are a lot of investors that were looking for an opportunity to get in as the markets continued to move upwards. And, you know, again, corrections like this are healthy. If you look at the markets over time, I think we're going to continue to see it move higher. And it's a sleepy day in August. A little bit of bad news is going to get exacerbated. So for those that have been on the sidelines, this is really a great opportunity. Steve, if, uh, you, if you and Tom were both doctors, you'd have slightly differing opinions here. While you believe that uh, you know, the market is actually pretty decent, you feel that the behavior that we're seeing today is probably something that was expected, but how much longer does it go? I think we could see this thing go sideways for a while. We, we've got a lot, of, uh, a lot of things on the table. We've got uh, inflation somewhere down the road. We've got impending tax increases coming down the road. We've still got unemployment issues. And uh, not a lot of, of good news to get the uh, consumers out there buying things. You know, I was looking at the notes well, here, and I, I want to stick with Steve if I can, because, Steve, one of your picks, you know, basically every guest we've had on Fox Business that I've heard recently has bashed commercial real estate. So I did a double take, because actually that is one of your preferred investments thoughts. Make the case for commercial real estate when almost everybody else is saying it's doom and gloom. Well, where do you want to be? If I'm a lender, I'm probably going to have some problems coming down the road. If I'm a distressed owner, Again, I'll probably have some, some problems coming down the road. But if I'm the, on the buy side and I've got the capital to come in and take advantage of these discounts on mortgages, on some good notes, some discounts on some very good property, in fact, property that probably has had their cap rates increased, and a cap rate is, is what you put in your pocket after expenses, then I'm looking at, a, at a, a, a huge banquet of opportunities that for investors moving forward uh, may make the difference between successfully navigating inflation or falling behind. I, I just like the hard asset, and historically it's proven very well. Again, at these discounts, I'm, I'm very happy with it. Well, great if you've got the cash to buy, definitely. Tom, let me go to your picks. You're all about materials, and we're talking about basic materials that would be used for a global recovery. What are your picks? You're an ETF guy. Yeah, well, Liz, I mean, we, outside of the U.S., we're seeing huge moves, huge D GDP growth. So the uh, select sector spider has nine different ETFs. The best performing so far year to date is the materials. And it's really done well. Also, iShares has a couple of global materials and then the basic materials. All three are up over 35% year to date. And again, with areas like metals, mining, chemicals, biotechnology, agriculture, when you have the booming markets, especially in emerging markets, you're going to continue to see demand, along with speculation in these ETFs as we continue to see billions of dollars flow in. Tom, I'm seeing that while well, they have been up about 35 percent, they're still not at their 52-week highs. Can I assume then that there's more room to run? Well, I think so, again, in a couple ways. Number one, demand, uh, as we see GDP growth continue, but also we've talked more and more about speculation. As your other guest mentioned, we're going to see inflation, and a lot of these areas are surely inflation protected as we get into probably continue uh, falling dollar. All right, finally here, listen, Tom, we're looking at possibly a reflate. Steve, oh, Steve, sorry about that, Steve. We're looking at possibly a reflation trade here. Uh, I know that one of Tom's picks were some of the commodity companies, the BHP Billitons, if you would. Do you think that's a good sector? I mean, do you have to believe in the inflation story down the line to like the commodity companies, and do you? Well, we've got a lot of dollars out there. Inventories are dropping, so there's a lot of money chasing few goods. 
once we start a recovery and people have more money to spend, I think we're really going to see inflation kick up a notch. And I'm not an alarmist, but I certainly think we're going to see a lot more than we did. That being said, yes, I like hard assets. In fact, uh, when we talk about commodities, I like pipelines. In fact, I like pipelines that get paid for the delivery, the transportation of things like natural gas. The master limit, the MLPs. Yeah, those are great. They get paid for the volume that goes through the pipes. Uh, there, there's a lot of opportunities with those. And if, if the recovery hasn't started, we're going to be paid a pretty nice dividend to sit and wait around. I love optimists. So, Tom and Steve, you've got some optimism from both of your perspectives. Thank you for coming on. We'll see you next time, guys. Thanks, Liz. Thanks, Brian. You're welcome. I love making money. Well, Thank you.